Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on Critic Insider, and today's video is my spoiler bill review for Zack Snyder's Justice League. Yes, that's right, you guys. And now, I haven't done much spoiler reviews yet, but I only did one for Avengers Endgame and Avengers Infinity War a couple of years back, and now... I'll be committed to doing more spoiler reviews from now on after I do the spoiler free ones. She asked her wait before this review warning you get major spoilers. She asked her wait. This is correct to the video. First off, let's talk about the characters. I thought Wonder Woman was greatly developed in this film. Yes, that's right, you guys. I mean, in the first chapter, love that epic action sequence with the Amazonians. Yes, that's right, you guys. Kicking the forest 20 minutes off with that was just crazy. I mean, I did not see a big Wonder Woman action sequence coming in yet. Also, the part two action sequence was also very, very cool, I thought. The one with Dark Side, and that was unfortunately the only time we got to really see Dark Side in action in this movie, which sucked though, because I thought he had a lot of potential. So yeah, so um, but I, but like I said, this because they didn't quite defeat Dark Side in this film. They um, that was a step for a sequel, and we'll talk more about that later. So yeah, I'm also I thought. Superman didn't do much of a change for me. Um, he really didn't, if I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Still an unsatisfying return. Um, still don't think he did much, much in that film either. I just don't like the Superman returns evil thing. And then at the end, him and Batman were helping each other. So, yeah, so, um, so, um, so, like I said, kind of a bizarre return. And yeah, also, I, I like I said in the spoiler feed review, I did enjoy Jason Momoa's Aquaman, which I hated the first Aquaman film. Um, didn't think he fit the role, but seeing this film, he had some good moments. Like, the moment where he killed Steppenwolf. Um, by the way, Steppenwolf's death was epic. I mean, like... I did not see something that gory coming in this movie, but it was very, very cool, though. So, yeah, so, love that Zack Snyder's direction. Um, Tevinoy was much darker than the first Justice League, obviously, and had some very violent moments, not gonna lie. Especially the death of Steppenwolf was very well done, I thought. So, yeah, and also... And, and and I discovered so I knew in this film as well that um Stepin well, that Dark Side was if they did trilogy of this Dark Side I think was supposed to see the main villain but this really was where a Dark Side set up and that's why they decided to kill Stepin Wolf off as the big villain instead of Dark Side I figured so yeah. Zack Snyder had a great direction. Was everything fixed? No. Superman's return. Still in satisfying. The dark Superman didn't do much for me, but I still did love how Zack Snyder did the backstories. Yes, that's right, you guys. It's just really cyborgs. After cyborgs backstory, I really, really wish we could have had a cyborg spin-off movie and I'm um, only if and I'm um, only if if they DC stick to their schedule would have happened but but we're not but they didn't so yeah so I'm um, also she had strong emotions as well especially with um with um cyborg's dad um it was a cool moment when flash time traveled back in time in the final action sequence and he saved and he he tried to save cyborg's dad again but unfortunately that didn't work but i still saw him flashback to um young cyborg and that was to a very cool moment in the final battle scene so yeah 
fun. I also thought the flash forward scenes to um Lois Lane, Aquaman, Wonder Woman's death in the future were um, all all very very cool and and yeah, so um so I also said I didn't but but however that um action sequence at the beginning of the fourth part what didn't feel as good as some other action sequences to me. I don't know why they just didn't fix it up with that scene that much as they did with some other action scenes I feel in this movie. So yeah. Also I said I didn't care for the Joker scene. I didn't get the point of it all honestly. I mean I was trying with Joker being just a cameo. Like, he wasn't supposed to be, like, a big deal in this movie or nothing like that, but it was still a very weird scene that I felt didn't fit, to say the least. Yeah, I'm probably going to talk about that ending with Martian Manhunter. Um, that was a great step to the to the sequel, to say the least. Um, when Superman came in his regular suit, and that showed, and it showed Martian Manhunter, my jaw dropped. That was a very cool and satisfying moment in the epilogue to wrap the story up and see an ending out a fairly good note on this film with Martian Manhunter flying away in the Superman suit to set up that he could have potentially played a huge part in this film I thought was very very cool and this is why I want the Snyderverse to be restored I want a cyborg spin-off film I am want this universe to be restored. So yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see ya.